Hello friends, Satyendra here and in today's video, create a new material which is not available in Creo Parametric. We will assign that material to this part and all instances and then based on the material density, we will calculate weight of this part and weight of all instances and we will insert these details to our drawing. So let's get started. And to create a new material, you go to File, Prepare, Model Properties and here you have a material option, not assigned, click on Change, Legacy Material, inside this you have number of materials listed here. Now in case I want to assign a material which is 304SS, which is not there in this list, then first we will create that material. We will add that material to this list and then we will assign that material to our part. And to do that, first I will select the material called SS. Now the next thing is click on this pencil mark. Now it will open this material definition. Now here I will change this SS to 304 SS. Next thing is I need to change the density of 304 SS. And for that, I must know the property of 304 SS. And to check that, I'll go to the internet. Now here I'll search 304 SS properties. Next thing is, I'll open this website. So if you scroll down, you can see here the density of the material. You can see bulk modulus of this material. If you still go down, you can see poisons ratio of this material. You can see Young's modulus of this material. Then here you have thermal expansion. So these four values we are going to add in our material definition. So we will add these values one by one. So first I will add material density which is 490 minimum value and maximum value is 503. So if you take average it will be around 499. But this value is in LBM cubic feet and in our material definition we have this value in LBM cubic inches. So 499 has to be converted from LBM per cubic feet into LBM per cubic inches. And for that I'll just divide 499 by 12 power 3. And I get result around 0.2887 which is near to 0.289. So I'll put here 0.289. Next thing is poisons ratio. So if I go to my website, I have my poisons ratio here. So this is just a ratio. So if I take average from 0.265 and 0.275, it will be 0.27. So I'll put here 0.27. Next thing is Young's modulus. So if I go to my website, I have Young's modulus here. The minimum value is 190, the maximum value is 203. So if I take average of these two, it will be around 196.5 and that too also in GPA. So if I have to add this value in material definition, first I'll change to GPA and then here I'll type 196.5 and then I'll go for LBM. So this is around 1.1 .1 into 10 to the power 10 in LBM. Now the last thing is coefficient of thermal expansion. So if I go to my website, I have thermal expansion here. This is 16 in minimum value and 18 in maximum value. So if I take average, it is 17. And the unit is 10 to the power minus 6 in degree Kelvin. So the average is 17 into 10 to the power minus 6 in degree Kelvin. So I'll change to degree Kelvin. And here I'll write 17. 
into 10 to the power minus 6 and then I'll change to Fahrenheit. So it is 9.444 into 10 to the power minus 6 in Fahrenheit. Next thing is we have thermal, miscellaneous, appearance and other tabs. So I'll go to appearance. I'll say new. I'll assign the material color the way this material should look like. So I'll select this material. I'll say close. I'll select this material and I'll say default. Say OK. Now you have your new material called 304SS. Now this material I'm going to save in this list. Go to save as. Save your material to your working directory. Once it is saved, now your material is saved in your working directory. Now you go to your working directory. Select your material. You go to C drive. Program files. ETC. Your Creo version. Common files. Text. Material library. Legacy materials. And paste your material here. Now you have your own material here. Now this material you will get in your Creo parametric. Now you just say OK. Now you have a material called 304 SS. Click on change once again. Legacy material. Now you have your own material here. 304 SS. Say OK. Close. And your material is applied to your part. Now let's calculate the weight of this part. But before that, let's have a small break. And meanwhile, you can like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now let's calculate the weight of this part. And for that, go to File, Prepare, Model Properties. Now here you have Mass Properties. Click on Change. Now you have Density here. 2.89 into 10 to the power minus 1. So calculate. Your mass is calculated in LBM. Now you say OK. Close. Now the next thing is I need to add mass for all the instances. And to do that, go to File, Option, Configuration Editor. And here, click on Find, look for mass. Find now. Now here you have an option called mass property calculate. This option you change to automatic. Save it to your config file. Now you go to relation and here you write a relation which is Weight in kg is equals to pro underscore mp underscore mass. This pro mp mass is a system parameter. Now our mass value will be directly pulled from the part. Now this mass value will be in LBM. So to convert mass from LBM to kg, we need to multiply by 0.453592.37 because when we convert LBM to kg, 1 LBM equal to 0.453592.37 kg. Verify it. It is verified. Click on local parameters. Scroll down. Now you have a parameter called weight in kg. Your part weight is 0.74 kilogram. Now you say OK. Now go to family table. Here I have a small family table already. Now I am going to add this parameter. Say OK. Now this parameter got added. Verify it. Now this parameter is pulling 
all the weight details from your part so as the part sizes is varying your weight is also varying say okay now go to your drawing now if you see this table your weight is automatically getting added in this family table because the family table was already inserted for this drawing so this is how we create new materials so this was the whole idea about creating a new material assigning the material and calculating the weight of your part and i hope this video will be helpful and don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel thank you so this is it guys now like this video if the video is helpful share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates